My front brake is done. I got a new pad and new cables here with me. So I'm gonna to try to take it all apart and fix it before I start downhilling. And the guy says it's a three mile uphill to get this to the summit of the summit mountain. And from there I can get to a town called Waynesburg, about 50 miles away before the heavy chance of rain is tomorrow where I can hunker down and wait till the next day so then I can start heading west towards uh, Amanda, Ohio. I'm really tired right now and it's going to take everything out of me to get through today so let's see how I do it. Okie dokie, I got um, the bike's feeling really good right now. I got the brand new brake pads that I had as spares on there. They're really, really good now. And I cleaned my entire drivetrain and oiled it with just a little bit of oil I had left in, in my bag. So, and it's so far sounds really good, feels really great. So. My bike feels amazing. It was such a mess from all the rain and the muddiness and the, the gravel, the wet gravel all over my drivetrain. It was so bad. <laughs> Please, I'm beat up. I'm so PA beat up. Oh man. That's how it goes. Was major reward wow that was steep I went 38 or so it's starting to become one of those days where it's not expected but it's gonna be amazing Now it's getting dark. 
I think it's gonna rain today again. But more importantly, I gotta get somewhere in shelter for tomorrow. It's coming down tomorrow all day. It's like 100%. It's between 85 and 100% all day. So I'll have to get to this town or city, town, Waynesburg. It's about 35 miles away. Plans to go slow. My legs are on fire. I need a break from the hills of Pennsylvania. So I'm gonna knock this uh, monster out for uh, Appalachian standards. The grid is definitely more manageable than the little hills. There is no doubt that a bunch of little high, gri high grade hills compound into a, a lot of hurt where these like longer, softer graded climbs are way more manageable. Because you can get in a groove and just keep climbing. to get majorly rewarded I see the view just creeping up over the hill here and it looks insane it really wasn't that bad a climb I was just doing 46 miles an hour right there. If it wasn't for this traffic, I would have just rocked on by.
insane. I can't believe it. <laughs> what a day again. This is the stupidest thing to do in your life. I was having to pay so much attention with all the traffic. What a spectacular drop. That's the second one. Second one of my trip after uh, Prospect Mountain. A little bit of me is back in those hills because uh, they're no joke. I will always uh, see them in a different light now. And I will always think of the Appalachians in a different way. Really tested my legs, my body, my mind. But I think I did good. I feel good about it. And I'm ready for what's next. I got a tailwind for the first time ever. I mean, it really is so foreign to me that in a month's time, I haven't been uh, getting any major tailwinds. And for some reason, today's the day. I'm gonna use it up. I've been enjoying this uh, very long, not even like lightly gradual, like but gradual uh, downhill going westward. Back to westbound after a week of heading south and southeast. Feels good. Because I'm definitely anxious about late in the summer, early fall, getting caught in winter storms out west. Just cruising on down.